There are three categories which I put all humans in this world in. Those people who watch things happen, those people who make things happen, and those people who don't even know what on earth has happened. Hello everyone, my name is In Chi Zhang. In this remarkable evening, I'm going to talk about one of the major problems I've discovered throughout my significant 13 years of living. Ha! <laughs> I've witnessed it affect a lot of my family members, friends, including myself on the negative side. So I'm willing to change that. I want to tell you what the problem is. Instead, I'm going to tell you a story. There is a teenage girl called Stephanie. She is a caring friend, she is brilliant at studying, and she is popular. In her school, there is also a trendy girl called Laura. She isn't good at studying, she is popular because of her fashion sense, what she wears to school, and her family's wealth. Laura and Stephanie spend time in school together. They are, all, they are both popular in school. They are really, really, really popular in school, but they have contrasting personalities. While Laura is loud and sassy, Stephanie is quiet and humble. Stephanie had always admired Laura, had admired her appearance, her personality, everything. As they spent time in school together, that admiration turned into jealousy. Stephanie was jealous of Laura, jealous of her personality, jealous of her appearance, everything. So she, be, she, so she began targeting Laura and mimicking whatever she does. Her way of talking, her way of dressing up, her personality, everything. After a few months of turning, Stephanie believed that she had become Laura. But something wasn't right. She just doesn't get much attention, as much as attention as she expected after turning into Laura. In fact, she even got lesser attention than before, being herself. Slowly, this never could be reached goal drove Stephanie insane. At first, she had two paths laid in front of her. One, one path encourages her to be unique confident herself. The second one led her into self-destruction and knowing that she will never, ever, ever reach her goal. Unfortunately, she chose the second option. So she began living in the shadow of Laura. Shadow is the problem I was talking about. People say to shine a light is to cast a shadow. True. When you shine a light, there you go. It casts a shadow. It hits an object and casts a shadow. Everyone will notice the object in the light because it's in the light. It's in the stop spotlight. Everyone will see it. But no one will know what's in the shadow because it's not essential. Nowadays, the technologies have developed significantly. One moment, we're drolling over the first cell phone. The second moment, we're rushing to our TV watching Armstrong landing on the moon. Our access to internet is as easy as a flick of finger. I'm sure when you're free, you watch TV shows, movies, and so on. And you get really attached to a character. Since we have stuff like YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, WeChat, Weibo, we can see what different people post every day. Friends, families, celebrities. For some people, following celebrities' Instagram account or social media account will be the most they do to show admiration or attached feelings. But for some others, they will try to mimic what they do, try to follow them and try to copy them. This is mostly the change of, changes of appearances. Michael Jackson, for instance. It is proven that when he was alive, one-third of the world was his fan. He danced the, moon, uh, the moonwalk in a Michael, Jack Michael Jackson way. But tell me, who ever danced the moonwalk and is as famous as Michael Jackson? No one. 
Michael Jackson did something that no one else did before. He was the revolution of music. Standing in someone else's shadow could mean that a person gets less attention because someone else is better known or more skillful in a way. Or it could also mean that uh, it could also literally mean standing in someone else's shadow. Either way, no one will notice who or what is in the shadow because it's not essential. Everyone will know who's in the light. I often hear a lot of my friends talking about a subject that really annoys me, but I also feel a connection to. Their parents often compare them to another kid and ask if they could be more like their friends. Fine, my friends, they try. They try to impress their parents, to be the kid that their parents wanted. They try for a long, long time. They try mimicking whatever the other person does, but they never su succeeded. No one on earth is the same as another one. So there is no point of trying to become one another. The pretender will never shine. Just like in action movies, actors and actresses, they have stunt doubles. Stunt doubles might uh, be in a scene, but will never show their faces. Many of you might know a lot of famous actors and actresses, but did you ever, do you ever know their stunt doubles? No. Their stunt doubles isn't as famous as them. Actually, you don't even care about who their stunt double is. <sighs> Wherever there is light, there is shadow. We will never be able to destroy the shadows, but we could avoid them. We could avoid stepping into the shadow and becoming one. But how? For me, the, most, uh, the best way to do it is to write a goal for yourself, to write a list of who you want to become, um, and how you're going to achieve this. Make sure that it is not an expectation from anyone else. It must be from your own will. Also, you should know your boundaries, limits, and your self-expectations. For example, just a simple good morning to everyone you met. With small goals comes big goals. With big goals, you can build up your personality gradually. Another good thing is to, to do is to know yourself, to spend time with yourself, to spend time with yourself and thinking about yourself. If all you do is copy another people, then you'll be a stranger to yourself. You don't even know who you are or who you want to be because all you do is copy, 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 copy. There is no you. If you actually look into yourself, you then will know your strength and your weaknesses. Then you could develop your weaknesses and improve on your strength. But if you only copy, copy, you will never know yourself. You will be just like a stranger to yourself, like a stranger on the road. After you truly develop yourself, you will be the one copied by others. I'm sending a message to everyone. Please do not compare yourself to another person because there is no point. You can never be someone else. If you want to be someone else, you will always live in their shadow. You will always be a shadow. If we are being ourselves, we can make a difference. Just like famous um, six people who succeeded like Jack Ma, Stephen Hawking, Bill Gates, and so on. Why are they so special? Because they went beyond their limit. Jack Ma, the CEO of Alibaba and so many other programs, he was just dumb, ugly, poor as any town boy and any farm boy. But then he went out. He went to the city. He was rejected by 36 companies, but he still did not give up. He brought something to China that has changed China completely. The first online market. Alibaba. Now he is one of the most successful person in the world. He once said, you should learn from your competitor, but never copy. Copy and you die. Think, would you like to be the person copy at alive or the person dead? Thank you.